during the very initial stages when i was introducing css to you i spoke about the different ways of implementing css namely the inline css internal css and the external css so far we've seen these two we saw how this worked and we also saw how the internal css worked we did this in our profile page now let's look at how to do external css so for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to open our profile page in notepad and I'm going to open this as well. So here we have these changes applied to our profile page using this CSS. And if you can see here, our HTML document is getting larger and larger. And we have all of the CSS code in our HTML document, which is not that great because it kind of makes this page very long and it's difficult to read when it's a long document. So what we are going to do is we're going to move all of this CSS styling to an external style sheet. And that is simply what external CSS simply means. You're putting all of this code in a separate file. So let's do that. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to save this, create a new file and I'm going to paste all of this code and then save it inside the same folder as the HTML file. So I'm going to call this style.css and I've saved it. I'm just going to close this now and here we're going to open this again in the notepad. Now, if you refresh this page, you'll see that all of the styling is gone. The reason being that we moved the CSS to a different file within the same folder, but we are not pulling it inside our HTML document in any way. So we need to have a way to reference the CSS file into our HTML document. So how we do that is we need to create a link tag in the head of our HTML document. And in that we need to have a attribute called rel, which should say style sheet. And then we'll say type equals text slash CSS. So, and we also need to have a href attribute with the address of the CSS file. And the link tag doesn't have any closing tag as such. So we can just leave it like this. So here we're going to give the address of this CSS file. I'm going to say style.css and save this and refresh this page and now we get to see all of the CSS. Okay, as simple as that. Now you can see the advantage of having external CSS because we cut down all of that complex CSS code into one single line and all of our CSS code is in a separate file which we can open separately and edit. So this is a demonstration of how to use external CSS. Hope this was helpful. Make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.